The CYBL is likely the most competitive high school summer league in the country. And last year, Travis made the mistake of not playing in it. But this summer, he made sure not to make that same mistake twice. I was very eager to watch him play against some tougher competition. I needed to see where he was at. In that first game, he did not disappoint. Jack is also playing in the CYBL, and I was able to catch the end of one of his games. But there was another kid on his team who was making big plays down the stretch of that game. I was excited to see them play against Travis. Shaq is a very smart player and a very good shooter, and he made sure to display those abilities during that game. Travis still found ways to score here and there, but he certainly did not play as well as he did in that first game. I began to get an idea of what it is that he needs to work on. Now remember that other player on Shaq's team who was making big plays down the stretch? His name is Joshua Houghton, and he was by far the player who stood up the most this game. He was just flat out stronger and more athletic than everyone else on the court. He was raw, but still I respected his game. Now initially, I didn't have intentions of training him, but after the game, his dad approached me regarding a highlight tape, which many of you have already seen by now. His father then expressed interest in having me help Joshua become a better, more skilled point guard. And after watching hours of his game film from previous tournaments, I was certain I could help him. Josh has an incredible work ethic. And when I say it's incredible, I really mean it. I'm sure you've all heard it before when a coach or trainer says to you, there's a kid out there somewhere who's outworking you and he's in the gym right now. Well, let me tell you, Joshua is that kid. You see, Joshua doesn't take days off, and he works out multiple times a day. So much in fact, that his dad tells me he's genuinely concerned by how hard Josh is working. And after hearing that, I immediately liked the kid. Because from his dad's stories about him, I knew right away that I could relate very well to him. Because if there's one thing I'm known for, it's for being an extremely hard worker. I couldn't tell you how many times people have told me that I train too much. But I can't help it. 
Something inside me drives me to want to push and become better each and every day. It's just how I'm wired. And it seems to me like Josh is wired in the exact same way. All of my clients inspire me in different ways. But it's extremely rare that I am motivated by how hard a client works. But working with Joshua every day makes me want to work harder as a player. Because he is a constant reminder that I'm not the only person in the world who works very hard. Constantine has expressed to me a tremendous desire to improve his overall athleticism. He has seen the difference that being faster and stronger has made on his game, and he wants to continue to capitalize on it even more going forward. So right now, it's looking like this summer you guys are mostly going to be following Constantine's progress from an athleticism perspective. Let's see if I can get him dunking consistently by the end of the summer. Igor has really been working at becoming a better scorer. As a result, he's been trying a lot of things that he wouldn't have before, which I am extremely proud of. I truly believe that he can become a very good scorer. I've seen him be nearly unstoppable at times. But since I've been home, most of his games have been kind of rough. But that's okay, because it takes time to be efficient and effective when stepping out of your comfort zone. It may be frustrating now, but if he stays committed to the learning process and remains confident, things will get much better. I'm going to do all I can to help him. Travis's main issue right now is that he's too predictable. He's very fast, and in games he's going full speed in a straight line to the rim. If you cut him off on his initial drive attempt, or have good help defense, he hasn't been able to adjust very well up to this point. As I said, he has an extremely quick first step, but now he needs to develop counter moves. Step backs, pull ups, changes in direction after his first move. These are the types of things he's gonna need to add to his game now, because on ball and help defenses are getting better, smarter, and more athletic. Otherwise, he's just gonna become another average player. Because think about it, even the fastest of NBA point guards have to know how to create space and change directions. But Travis is a very attentive listener, and once I explain something to him and show him how to execute it correctly, he's usually able to pick it up really fast. Beat him. Thank you. Zach's continued working on ball handling and shooting a lot, but I also want him to be able to execute with actual defense in front of him, instead of just going through the motions. Drills are important, but you also need to know how and when to actually use what you learn. Now even though I'm very positive and encouraging with my guys, I also like to show them from time to time that they still have a long ways to go before they actually get to the level that they want to be at. I've been hearing a lot of great things about AJ, 
from seeing tweets about some of his high-scoring games to hearing about him winning MVP of his school team. So I was extremely eager to see him play in person again. With no time remaining on the clock and the game on the line, AJ knocked down three huge free throws to win his team the CYBL championship. But while watching that game, it was incredibly obvious to me that AJ's biggest weakness was his lack of strength. And he knew it too. Overall, I was very impressed with how he played. But I was even more impressed when he came up to me at the end of that game, having just knocked down the free throws to win it, and expressed to me his eagerness to get back to training with me the very next day. And that's what I truly love about this group. Although they all have things that they need to work on, they are all committed to the process. They understand that whether they played poorly or amazingly in their last game, if they don't continue to get better, they're falling behind. They are passionate about achieving their goals. And as a result, I am passionate about helping them reach them.